All right. Welcome, everyone. It is July 31st, 2019. This meeting is being recorded. Uh, this is the CNCF SIG app delivery call. Um, today on the call, Alexis and I would like to discuss, um, number one, the charter um, and finalizing the charter, uh, talking about any last points um, that we want to discuss before we send it off to the TOC uh, to get voted on. Um, and then the second thing that we'll discuss is uh, just like answer any questions around um, being SIG chair. That application is open. We encourage anyone who is interested to fill out the application. So I'll, I'll paste in the relevant links here in a second. Um, yeah, if you are not speaking, please go ahead and mute. Um, and if my background gets annoying, let me know and I will mute too. Uh, okay. Um, let me go ahead and share my, well, yeah, I'll share my screen with the charter um, and then we'll talk about uh, the comments that are still on the charter one second. Can everyone see the doc charter document? Yep, I can see it. Okay, great. All right. Um, so uh, the first comment that we had, uh, Liz Rice, who chairs the TOC, um, had a comment around uh, listing the current projects. Um, so we had some of the projects listed in the charter originally, um, but I think they were taken out. Uh, but I think it was Alice who, yeah, it was Alice who um, mentioned that we could add some related projects uh, in this uh, sample list of um, in scope items. Um, yeah, I'll so put them in there later today. Okay. The reason, by the way, why, why we took them out for everybody on the call, we had lots and lots of projects listed in there that somehow fall into some of the areas. And we could like make this list endless, like a landscape. So what we'll do, we'll just put in a note on related CNCF projects. Obviously there's way more projects out there, but people just kept adding more and more open source projects. But I'll take care of this later today. Yeah, I think that's a great idea. Thank you. Um, okay, and then the second one, Gareth, uh, you had added something around testing. Uh, um, yes, I actually, I just caught that I hadn't added it there. I, um, I'd suggested adding a line in the areas considered in scope, and I think someone had, uh, had picked that one earlier. Uh, I think like we had like designing, developing, bundling, deploying, configuration management, delivery, release management, and operations. Um, I think it's worth calling out like validation and testing. Um, I think I put in the comment, I'm slightly biased because I hack on a bunch of open source things in that space. But I think as this, there are other things there and I think it sort of goes hand in hand with developing things, testing things, you know, sort of. Yeah, I think that makes sense. We just didn't put it in there, so. Any objections? Okay. All right. Um, all right, related projects. Okay, how do you see this working in those areas that have significant overlap with other uh, SIGs? For example, do you see the SIG providing tooling assessments of any project in the same way that you can provide security assessment of non-security as well as security projects? Might be worth saying something explicit to de-scope the non-management aspects of uh, projects and the spaces covered by other SIGs. Uh, Alice, do you want to go ahead and explain your point to that? Yeah, my point is, uh, as we were going through the charter, I think the key difference between uh, this SIG and, and some of the other SIGs is that this has a pure end-user application developer as a refocus. So there will be overlaps, for example, in security space, but this is really related to application development on top of the other projects rather than building the uh, core infrastructure technologies themselves. So I think the overlap is more than intended, just the area of work might be different and rather complementary to, to some extent. Obviously these groups would think about how things should be used as well, but uh, this is really how I see people building apps and reusing these technologies rather than how technologies like security scanners or even Kubernetes as is built at its core. I think one of the things that like related to so one of the points in the mission as well, um, which was like to develop informational resources. 
I think it's probably worth calling out in the charter just to avoid later confusion. Like, is that um, restricted to just CNCF projects, just open source projects, or any projects? Um, obviously, a, a number of us here wear multiple hats. Like, some of us work for software vendors that sell proprietary software. Some of us work on open source things in that context. Some of us work on open source things outside that. And so there's the risk that, I, like, well, basically there's not a risk, there's a reality of all of those like guides carrying some bias. Um, I think it's just worth, that's not a bad thing. That's how we all make money and try to make things better. But I think it's worth calling that out in the charter somehow, like, if that makes sense. Gareth. Yeah. Can you say that again, but with fewer words? Um, I'll try. So one of the outputs mentioned is uh, like guidance, white papers coming from ultimately the CNCF. Um, obviously, we all, like any of the authors of that are going to bring some level of bias. I think it's worth calling out in the charter how we consider to like square that. Um, What's the body of art? What was that? Who said that? Sorry, somebody responded. Say again. Okay, maybe it was just noise. Um, I agree, Gareth, that it's worth calling this out. Um, this topic of bias has come up again and again and again when we discuss the SIGs. And, you know, the TOC as an organization, i.e. The, the, the nine voted in people, um, already have uh, struggled on a few occasions with discussions around bias explicit or implicit and I think it only gets more complex potentially if you start having these opt-in say so I think um, you know maybe we, we can't come up with an answer today but I mean we could have sort of some agreed standard practice for all the SIGs in the CNCF in which it is made clear that, that any outputs of a, of a SIG are community-based outputs yeah. and not the official position of any one organization including the CNCF and the Linux Foundation itself. Um, they may be superseded by other things. They represent a set of opinions of people in the community who have spent time focusing on this problem. Um, and, you know, in order to, you know, if you really want to go one step further, you should list the names of the authors or, you know, whatever is the right practice there. But I think that um, it is a reasonable consideration. It's something we'll have to learn how to deal with over time. So um, do we want to start by adding a section in the charter? I'm not sure what that section uh, I think it's, involved. sorry to interrupt. I think this is one that the TOC has to figure out as a general thing for all okay. the SIGs. Um, but Gareth, if you want to suggest some language, email it to Michelle, myself, and Liz. We can take it to the other TOC folks. Or just put it on the CNCF TOC list as a topic. That would actually be a good yeah. thing to do. Uh, yes. Yep. Yeah, I I agree. It's more general. I I think it will be amplified when they're like with this thing's focus on guidance. Um, yeah, that's just that's just a good way of bringing it up at the TRT. And sorry, so, uh, since I seem to have the mic right now, may I continue with a related point? Please. Um, recently, a uh, couple of um, projects and that are definitely would belong in this in the focus area of the SIG uh, that do application definition um, work have approached the CNCF to talk about potentially, you know, being sandbox projects and so forth. And um, there was some TOC discussion about this, which led to the conclusion that one of the, one of the potentially useful things this group could do quite soon is take the uh, survey document that you, Gareth, created originally and Brian Grant has extended uh, since you created it and basically tidy all of that up a bit and provide a bit of a um, explanation of what the heck is going on in this space because um, there is certainly a lot happening in this space and we will not understand it if we treat all of those 95 projects as trying to solve the same problem. So I don't know what other people think but in terms of so, a, a, a straw man initial deliverable um, it would be nice to see something about in, in that area because you know, people say, what's the difference between Docker Compose and CNAB and, um, you know, Case Sonnet and, and, and dot, dot, dot. Great. 
it's been a fast moving space as well and like that like a lot of those projects and that are like that were like very very similar two years ago have actually n now no longer exist like for all intents and purposes there they were frozen in time at that point so there's been a lot of experimentation in the space and fewer things that have broken out yeah, that, that was also the idea to have criteria for certain um say use cases and what tools should provide and that might tie in there nicely uh, so that people cannot simply claim, I want to, because one question that came up in, in some discussion we had was, okay, let's create a landscape for all the tools out there. And every vendor wants to be in every part of the landscape. I think we, yeah. as a SIG, have at least the chance to say, well, if you want to be in box X, Y, Z, you have to provide at least these capabilities, and not just claim as part of your product marketing that you're doing X, Y, Z. So maybe like a survey like this or some type of definition it's super helpful there as well and to that also relates to the topic of bias because if you at least can agree on what makes up a solution in a certain area what use cases should be supported and which, which functionality should be supported and we have an agreement on this with users kind of the bias that you otherwise might have on recommendations the six areas considered in scope of the sig are actually pretty good here i think like there are six areas there that's a a nice, like not too large, not too small number. Uh, uh, coming back to, go ahead, Yara. Oh, okay. Uh, coming back to this um, application man tooling, I think Alois hit on a good point. Whereas he's defined the persona that this tooling that we're talking about, you know, hits uh, end users. I think we could go a bit further and say, okay, well, um, we're talking about application management related tooling, uh, which um, you know we see from the perspective of end users is really broad, so maybe application operators and application developers. Um, because when I read this uh, section, you know, it's, um, it's uh, in depth, uh, but it's also um, very broad. And uh, you know, a lot can, can uh, fall into this um, particular bullet point. Uh, would anybody be opposed to me adding that to the to this bullet point, or do we want to talk about whether we want um, to add the end user point? Or it's really loud. Yeah, I think the list could be a bit shorter and a bit more um, condensed. Uh, I can take another. I can take another stab at it because some of those pieces could actually build, could be put together. Like the, the debugging is definitely the developer focus, deployment configuration, more of a DevOps focus. Interop, I think, should be there anyways and could probably be put out there. Management of three. Yeah, I, I can so try, I think, to condense them a bit more. And we had the target audiences in there before, we just kicked them out because we thought they're implicitly mentioned by what we're doing. So if we talk about okay. why service it means developers but i agree that the list is a bit super long and it can be pretty much everything or nothing i'm not the okay. biggest fan of this list either so i think condensing it down a bit makes sense okay sounds good uh garrett did i cut you off nope i'm good i think it might be yeah. some background okay um all right uh there are let's see we have um the roadmap. Uh, do we want to add the survey um, topic to the roadmap, or do we feel like the um, uh, well, the white paper is a very specific deliverable? Um, do we feel like that covers it, Alexis? Do you have any thoughts here? I think we should call it out as a specific yeah. item. Okay. Um, Would you mind adding it to the doc? I'll do it right now. Yeah, hang on a second. Thank Can you. you post the link to the doc into the into the chat yeah, just on the right absolutely. here in Zoom? Thanks. Yeah. So we've we've done well. So like going back, we did two things that are somewhat distinct. Um, one was the end user survey, um, uh, the sort of uh, the application survey. Uh, um, that was like that. I covered lots of basically end user questions, like what people were doing. Alongside that, we did the whole uh, like more landscapey big list of that horrifying spreadsheet of, of tools. Um, so that they were mainly separate in that 
one was mainly sort of book research and one was mainly an end user survey. I'm not sure if we're conflating those two things or viewing them as the same or viewing one as more interesting than the other. Can you share both as links? Maybe as yeah, I, I'll I'll dig out. Uh, give me a second. I'll dig out the links from the previous ones. Um, because we 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 might want and again like we might want to update one both or. Yeah, I'll just be a few minutes, but I'll come back in a few. Uh, while um, Alexis is writing that up, I'll just go ahead and make the announcement um, that, uh, again, the SIG chairs um, application form is available and the link is in the operation section of this. Uh, um, uh, we're looking for three SIG chairs um, and all the information about what that entails is, um, is, in, the, uh, is in the form itself. And so we'll go ahead and close that form tomorrow uh, night. So it's Thursday, uh, 11 Um And so if you're interested, please go ahead and, and uh, <laughs> Excuse me, Ooh, I'm on for mute. Does anybody have any questions? Hey, I have a quick question of uh, what's highlighted right there right now. Okay, um, definition of standards. Yeah, so like, um, does that not cover something like the CNAB project? I don't know, because the CNAB project can cover both infrastructure and application components. Right. So I think this is more like OCI type things. Okay. Okay. Okay, does anybody um, have any questions around governance and how we relate to other uh, bodies, uh, organized bodies of people, groups of people? Can you explain like the difference between SIG apps really quick? Yeah. Um, yeah. Uh, so, you know, SIG apps started as a place where um, tooling on top of Kubernetes would come to demo and talk to uh, uh, these, what used to be a smaller body of people, smaller group of people, um, who were also working on the workloads API because that related most to the uh, application level tooling. Um, and so there was this nice feedback loop there. Uh, since the workloads API is now stable, um, before it wasn't, so it was necessary for all these people to kind of be in the same room to really be on the lookout for these big changes that, um, had effects on. Uh, now that's not so much the case. Um, so there will be some overlap with uh, uh, Kubernetes SIG apps. Um, so some of the tooling may want to come into the CNCF um, uh, SIG app delivery uh, wherever it makes sense. Um, and we just wanted to recognize that here. Uh, we'll focus on end-to-end -end aspects of application delivery uh, while Kubernetes SIG apps will focus on tooling that's specifically just related to Kubernetes. Verify. Yeah, thanks. Okay. Uh, any more questions? I'm going to ch check the chat here. Okay, Gareth just posted the um, link. All right, let us know when you're ready. Uh, again, we have a Slack channel and we have a mailing list. Mm. 
need to update this. Okay, go ahead, Alexis, take it away. Okay, you can uh, accept my change now. Thanks. So, are there any other changes in here that we need to discuss? I don't think so. Great. I still think that it'd be nice to condense the list. Yeah, the application management related tooling is just, it is too sprawly. Um, can you just get it down to five or six things? Yeah, Alice mentioned yeah. he was going to um, condense yeah, it for us. I'll get it down. Okay, thanks. So what I also will do, I will also look in, into the CNCF projects pieces and the CNCF projects that are related, what they're covering and then condensing it down to also what they're working on right now because technically that will be what we're working on right now anyways. Yeah, understood. So I think, um, Alois, it sounds like you are going to be the, the last person to touch this document before it can be declared ready for broader review. Is that correct? Yeah, unless anybody else wants to change something, but uh, that should be the last change. I'll send it to the Slack channel once I'm done. Actually, I would go straight ahead and send it to the, uh, both the Slack channel and the AppSeg and also to the TOC list. Okay. Um, okay. Post it on the TOC. That's the main thing is getting it onto the TOC list and saying that the... Um, you know, first draft of the charter from the uh, app dev SIG is available for review. Uh, the next steps are following broader review. We'll come up with a final version of the charter for a vote. All right. And also you could say if, people, if anyone would like to uh, schedule time on the main TOC calls to discuss this, please let Liz and Chris and Amy know. I will. Thanks. Amazing. Uh, lastly, if you did edit this document um, and review this document, please add your name to the top um, where it says reviewed by. That's the, the blame section. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, thank you. Uh, does anybody have anything else they want to discuss? Alexis, did you have any other items? No. I have everything I wanted. Okay. Then shall we call it? All right. Yes, so for you. Oh, sounds good. Thank you so much Thank for you. joining everyone. See you next time. Bye. Bye. Yep. Cheers.